That's right. I Thanks think for the good work. Yes, a two-day drive to come back, and uh, they came back to kind of interesting Rain. weather. Yeah. I thought it was a beautiful day, you guys. Yeah. It's glass half full. Okay, well, it was dry this morning, so if you needed to get out and I do a few things. I never saw it dry at, at all. I okay, went for so a you walk. It was raining. Oh, did you sleep outside, in today, it was Ann? Yeah. No, <laughs> she's been too busy. Okay, no. so once you got into work. <laughs> Every time I went outside, it was raining. <laughs> once you got into work, it dried out for a little bit, okay. but now we're tracking some rain. You know what else is back? What? The Pacers are back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did know that. Okay. Actually, I did have the inside scoop on that. Yes, yeah, <laughs> Uh, Preseason game one at the home opener. Uh, temperatures in the low 60s if you are coming downtown for anything. We'll be dodging a little bit of rain, much like Ann did every time she stepped out the door today. Not everybody getting wet. This is over the last hour, and you can see we have uh, some gustier rain moving into and through Madison County now, and more developing back to our northwest, a sign that the weather pattern, well, we're going to continue to deal with the rain and the wind. Heavy rain right now from Marion to Fairmount to Anderson to Pendleton. We mentioned you at the top of the hour. So where does this complex go next? Into Ball State, some of the heavier rain in about three minutes. Hartford City and four, Eaton and five, along with Muncie. Uh, seven minutes to Sulphur Springs and 11 minutes to Mount Summit. So this little complex of heavier rain will continue to move from west to east. We have a little bit of rain just east of Richmond, south to Liberty in our eastern viewing area. Our last local stop to the northwest up along Interstate 65. We've got a little rain just north of Lafayette, raining in Monticello, Logansport, Deer Creek, and Delphi, and more on the way. We'll keep a very close eye on this line here associated with a cold front. Even gustier winds may develop along that front, along with some pockets of heavier rain and maybe a little bit of lightning. So check Live Doppler 13 radar before your outdoor plans. Future Track 13 shows the rain around the next couple of hours. By 11 o'clock tonight, it is out of here but so is the warmth. We had several days in the 70s. That fall chill is back tomorrow, along with a little bit of sunshine. 72 this afternoon after a mild morning low of 59. Sunset this evening happens at 710. Temperatures right now in the mid 60s with clouds and some gusty winds. And yes, still a little bit of rain on radar as well. Those winds gusting over 30 miles per hour in Muncie currently. It will stay gusty tomorrow. We'll be dealing with a west wind 15 to 25 with perhaps some higher gusts. Temperatures to start in the 40s will end up in the low 60s with some sunshine both tomorrow and Friday. Friday still breezy but not as windy as tomorrow. As we get into the weekend, clouds arrive on Saturday 68, partly cloudy 63 Sunday. Coldest air of the season potential early next week. We're going to help you stay weather aware with information from the National Weather Service. We could be dealing with a freeze watch perhaps. So stick with us early next week.